guys, it's EdgyW, and today we're going to be talking about screen memory, specifically two different, uh, I guess, the two sorts of screen memory designs that are at all practical for use. Uh, now, what I've basically done is I have uh, taken each of these and I've tried to make a simple uh, implementation of them that works with redstone lamps. Now, it's very important that you usually want to use redstone lamps over pistons for a screen. And the reason for this is that, well, if you have pistons, then if even if you uh, do control for uh, and do everything in your power to prevent them from dropping their blocks, if they do anyway for some ridiculous reason, it's still going to be really, really annoying, and someone who's interacting with your computer isn't going to be able to understand exactly what's going on. So without any further ado, let's talk about uh, basically what these are. So this first design right here is an SR latch based design. Uh, set research if you've, you should know what an SR latch is if you're with you're watching this and it's pretty simple basically one input is going to turn uh, it on and it's going to stay on until you turn the other one on in which case the pixel will turn off and if we look at this one it works just the same for this and as you can see this one isn't uh, deluminating and if you turn this one on this one will illuminate so Everything is tiling perfectly, and then our second design is the T-flip-flop based design. So this one is a bit, I'm going to say, uh, more interesting to work with. Uh, I'm going to be talking more about uh, like the differences and advantages and disadvantages of the, both of these uh, later on, but this one's probably how you would, just like you would expect. Whenever you uh, press the button, uh, it turns the pixel on or off. Now, for either of these designs, you're probably going to want some sort of system that's going to locate the pixel that you want to use and then uh, either uh, set it, turn it on or off in the case of this one, or uh, toggle it in the case of the T flip flop design. And this is where uh, the main issue comes up, which is that. Uh, this one, you have a lot more control over what you do. With the T flip flop design, it's going to be exceedingly hard to reset this if you don't uh, store whatever you have stored on your screen somewhere else uh, and have a backup so that you know exactly where you need to uh, clear out the screen. Whereas with the SR latch, uh, sure, it's really easy to reset the screen, but if we look at this, uh, bussing out these wires is definitely possible, but it uh, certainly is not practical. So these are the two designs, uh, that, these are basically the two smallest designs that I could come up with. So uh, yeah, let's go over how each one of them is built. Alright, so for both of these designs, you're going to need to start off by building this sort of thing right here. And I need my redstone lamp back out here. So let's grab this. And this is the only way to power redstone lamps. Uh, pistons are usually uh, preferred for doing this for, because it's much easier to power them. But uh, this is how you effectively power glowstone uh, using in a four by four pi uh, pixel that's uh, so that none of the surrounding blocks are controlled. Because uh, if you don't do this correctly, then, uh, or if you do it in this, a similar way to the way you do pistons, then this uh, block right here would be powered as well. So this is just the way that you do this, uh, and we even have the start of the next one. So you know what, let's just build that. So the basic design here is going to go something like this. And then we're going to invert this again. Like that. So now what we need to do is basically we need to, off of this block right here, build whichever uh, design we're going to use. So this is actually, uh, design right here is actually really well suited uh, for 
the first one, which is the SR latch design. Uh, so let's block that off so that that doesn't spaz out. And let's do that, 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 that. Actually, I want to probably build that down there first. Again, we don't want stuff spazzing out, so we put a block up there. And yeah, so this is actually this entire design done. Uh, if you've ever seen this SR latch before, it's a pretty common design, most common two wide tileable one. Uh, and yeah, so let's see. I believe, yes, we need on here and here. Uh, we need repeaters, and past this point, it's kind of arbitrary what you do for the rest of this design, uh, because now you have the actual latch itself in place. Uh, and a really nice thing about this design that isn't so true for the uh, T flip flop design is that this one actually doesn't have any sort of stagger to it at all. This is just the outright design, and as you can see, that sets it and that resets it. Alright, so for our second design, what we're going to do is we're going to start it out in the exact same way. Uh, powering, stuff like that. Like that, and then we have our torches up here and here. And this time, we're going to be doing something a little different. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to actually not even have this, I don't think. And we're going to be just powering this uh, like this. And where's my hopper? Oh dear, I need everything for this one. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of the lamps. Actually, I'm even going to need those. Oh, I have so much stuff that I need to get rid of in my inventory here. So this is actually a really, really compact uh, T flip flop design that I found one day when I was uh, looking over, uh, just looking stuff up in YouTube. And uh, this is kind of where I came up with this particular design. And it's really nice because this particular T flip flop is absolutely tiny and uh, it actually fits in with uh, this pixel, uh, this two by two area. Uh, that you need to fit the pixel into very well. So yeah, but, however, there is a bit of a stagger going on for the, uh, what's it called, the cheap flip-flop design, like I said earlier. Uh, stagger itself isn't a big deal, uh, but as far as stacking it, uh, you need so many items to build this one. <laughs> I'm totally not portraying that I like this one better. They're both really useful, but uh, this one's honestly probably usually more useful because, like I said, uh, just being having to reset the T flip flop designs is very, very da uh, dangerous. No, it's very, very annoying. So yeah. So basically, all you need to do for this one is you just need to. Uh, Just need to uh, move it over, uh, move it back one just so that, uh, let's see, why do we need to do this? Hmm. I forget exa exactly why you need to do this, but I'm pretty sure that it won't tile if we don't do this or something weird like that, but uh, yeah, again, well not again, but uh, I'm kind of building this just off the top of my head, and uh, I actually didn't design it any time recently. So, yeah, so that's part of what's going on here. Anyway, now we need our buttons, and we need to get out and yet another new block, and we don't want to put a button there. So, I think I chose that as my first position, right? Yeah. So then, my um, second position needs to be there. And voila, everything is working, I should hope. So let's go ahead and see and test this out. Uh, oh no, you need to add some sort of item to these, of course. Uh, kind of wouldn't make sense if you didn't do that. That's really not bad. So paper, just the first item that came to my mind. All right, there's that, there's that. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
And finally, there we go. All right, so now these should all be working. Yep. And this one too, right? Yep. And yeah. So again, uh, most of the rest of building a functional GPU once you get this into place is uh, actually just really annoying busing, like you can probably see over there, uh, stuff like that and that down there, uh, and that sort of stuff is really annoying. But uh, if you don't have a good individual pixel memory design, uh, it can be even more annoying. So uh, these, I didn't mention this earlier, but these are also both solid state. So if that's uh, another thing that you're looking for, uh, then that's another really nice thing to keep in mind. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.